Setting up your item buttons is in many ways similar to the menu pages setup. Once you learn the basics, you should be able to add and edit your items quickly and easily. First, you'll need to choose the page which you will set up the buttons on. This is done with the page menu on the top right. Next, you'll need to find the actual items in your inventory list that you'll make the buttons out of. There are different ways to list out and view your inventory items. The first way is to simply leave the search box empty and click the search button. This will list your entire inventory, although you may find it difficult to find specific items. Typically, we suggest you use a refined search to find the items you need. To refine your search, type in relevant text into the search box and click the search button. This will list any items that match the search text with Coke, as an example here, which appears in the item description name. Note the item description radio button is currently selected. Additionally, you can search for relevant text using item type or item code by selecting their respective buttons. Once you have your items listed, select the specific items you need to put onto the current page. There are a few different ways to select items. You can select the items one at a time. You can select multiple consecutive items if the items appear together in the list, like all the root beers in this example. Simply select the top item, hold down the shift key on your keyboard, and select the bottom item. This will select both items and any items listed in between. You can also select multiple items that are not next to each other by selecting one, then, while holding down the control key on your keyboard, selecting additional items anywhere on the list. This works the same in reverse if you need to deselect an item. Finally, you can select all the items listed by clicking any item in the list, then pressing the control and A keys on your keyboard. All the items in the list window will be selected. Once you've selected the items that need to be on the page, left click on your mouse and drag them into an open area in the button window. When you let go of the mouse button, you will see the items appear as buttons. In some cases, your item names may be too large to fit the button, or you may wish to change color, size, or other settings. You may also wish to add in button labels to your point of sale screens, which are text areas that can help you organize your pages. We'll go over these in the next video.